Marla, artist from the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina. And I'm here today to tell you about Joe's Prime Really Good Light Fast Acrylic. This is a very affordable paint. I like to use it for large surfaces and I really am in love with this warm yellow color. Like it says, it's a warm yellow, gives a lot of warmth to your painting. I used it in this painted quilt on my borders and I just thought the warmth of the color was really yummy. It's a little bit transparent in a way, it's just, so it just is adding uh, the color. If I want to make it a little bit thicker, I add it with the Joe's um, Prime Gesso, which is what I use for white. So if I want to make this a little bit thicker and more uh, opaque, so I'm going to use um, this on one of my letter stamps. Just paint it on the stamp. And I actually think I want it a little bit darker, so I'm going to use more color. But I don't want it really dark. I don't want it to overpower the image. So there's my C. And there's my O. Whoops. This uh, paint set is this letter set is an antique, which I've been lucky enough to. We'll keep that one out. Inherit. And here's my W. It's a more warm yellow. Cow. This one over here is going to be holy. Holy cow. Just kind of one of my trademarks. I also use this paint in another painting. It just shows you how to use it with gesso to give it more body and more, make it more opaque. And, but I also like it very much because it's, uh, it is, uh, has a transparent quality. And so here I'm using it on this carousel painting. You can see how gorgeous it's bringing out these other colors underneath it. So it's not painting over the colors but it's just bringing out what's already there. That's the effect I'm looking for. I want to give more of a, a warmth and a depth to this color. You can see I've used it a lot in this painting. This whole painting is kind of glowing, which is also what I was looking for, was a glowing effect. This gives a nice overall glow. Pretty nice, huh? Thanks for stopping by.